Small video, but just a change battery. There's people up here with those motorized cycles skidding and all sorts. Anyway, there's steep home, flat home over there. I can remember that structure there, the lighthouse, uh, something to do with the light that is. Before that roof, something flipped back. That was, uh, wasn't always flipped back like that. I can remember before when it was down. I might even have an early image of that. And you used to be able to walk out to it easily without having to climb down. There was a path le leading out to it. So I am quite pleased with what I've done. Some lovely little flowers out here as well. Lovely little flowers. Gun placements, these are. Clean these out. Used to stink in here. Old toilets out. The old magazine holders. I used to be able to get in there. Yeah, I used to be able to. Magazine order again. So got a plaque up. Yeah, I can't remember that. Gun in placement, 1941. The camera's doing quite well. It's on second battery now. 
Yeah, and that is the old uh, pipes for the toilets there, look. I have done all this before, by the way, but every now and again it needs an upgrade. You always see something different the second time round. Don't you? You always see something different. That's a men's toilet, I should imagine, that one, isn't it? Splashing up against the wall there. There's the accommodation block here in the canteen. I think they used to have their wives up here. There's two different armies, 1941 and probably uh, 14 First World War as well. I bet they were out here. But there was Napoleon was part of the Napoleonic Wars. So there was a lot of uh, soldiers in that era out here as well. It could be used again. I mean, they, they maintain the brickwork. Because I think if it came to it, they could do this up and put a roof on, do the walls, put the electrics in. 1870 to 1900, where the soldiers slept and spent off duty, it was built to house 20 men. But for most of the time, only four or five gunners lived here. Their beds opened out from the wall, doubling as chairs. Originally, soldiers, wives and children would have lived here too. There's a woman. In 1940, the barrack room was used as a canteen and leisure area. The soldiers slept in huts outside the fort. The serving hatch into the kitchen was a 1940s addition. You can still see the steel roller for the shutter. Parade ground. Powder magazine, eighteen seventies. as well. You used to be able to get in there. 